the fulfillment of the words of our Lord Jesus is being fulfilled, he said the hearts of men will be failing them because of fear as they behold the unfolding of the times we are living in. Yet we are told that we should not do what? Take thought about the things. What will your tomorrow look like? What will your future look like? What about your children? What about this economic meltdown? What about this inflation? What about all of this thing happening? The evil is encroaching. Attacks from the powers of darkness is coming, making people to bow. We looked at the last time we are here on Friday, we looked at the fact that the devil bewitches and by the time he bewitches, he causes people not to obey the truth. And these are the activities of the devil. We need to understand and realize that the devil is setting all of these things for us to lose the hold that we have in the word of God. And for us to begin to attack the situations we have seen. Trying to run here and there. Trying to put it in order. But you need to understand and realize that all you need is to stand upon what God has said and resist this evil. Evil should be resisted. Jesus said, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And the apostle Paul began to tell us something in the book of Romans. He said that we should not be overcome of this evil. This evil that comes each day. And that is why as we are making declaration, we are strengthening every child of God wherever you are. We are releasing it on earth. We are releasing it in the atmosphere. We are decreeing that the evil release in each day. It will not see the light of day. You know what? The Bible says over come evil and until you come to the point where you look at the evil that have been sponsored into your day and you begin to address that evil and say listen I am the light of the world I am a child of God and even though these things are seen in my life they are not here to worry me they are not here to, to incapacitate me they are not here to bring me down they are here so that what I carry on the inside should be displayed. Child of God, it is a declaration for you to know and to remember, to recognize who you are and to resist that evil and to stand your ground and declare in the name of Jesus, I overcome evil in my personal life and in the name of Jesus, I overcome the evil of my generation and in the name of Jesus, I overcome the confrontation of darkness i told us very clearly according to what the lord began to let us to understand that we are called to live at such a time as this as the children of god that we may declare and display the power of light against darkness and i say that it will be very unfortunate if you are a child of god and allow evil allow witchcraft you know witchcraft we began to describe the last time we're going to look deep into this because this is one of the forces that the enemy have really used the bible described this witchcraft he said that witchcraft is a sin anyone in rebellion is open to witchcraft and this witchcraft is in dimensions is vast it is clearly standing and there is something peculiar about this this is the force that wants